Smart thermostat versus manual thermostat. Which is better for you? and why should you upgrade? I'm currently at my parents' house where they've used a manual thermostat for years, but today installing a new Hive smart thermostat and it gave me the idea for this video. Now, I understand when you move into a new home, you don't really care what boiler it has, especially what thermostat it has either. However, with iHeat, we're putting you back in control as when you get a new boiler from us, you can also upgrade to a smart thermostat. But why would you want to? Manual thermostats have been around for years. They require no internet connection, they're quite easy to program, and if you are built in your old ways, you have been doing it for years on years. For many of the older generations, this is a game changer. It beats the times of having a dial on the wall which you have to spin to a desired temperature. You can now sit at the comfort of your own sofa and wirelessly program a schedule in from the comfort of your own home. With the introduction of manual programmers, you can now set the date and time your heating to come on and off throughout the day to match your busy schedule. This means on your way home, your boiler can kick up and your house can be nice and warm before you've even made it back. So how can this get any better? Well, of course, people's schedules now change. What you did last Monday is probably different to what you did this Monday. And this is where smart thermostats come into play. Today, we are ignoring the brands, but this is a hive and it can probably do the same thing as most other smart thermostats on the market. Smart thermostats number one advantage has to be controlling your heating from anywhere in the world with an internet connection. For this, you will need a wireless hub as part of your installation, but once installed, you can go on your phone, use the app and set the temperature for your home different rooms inside your home and also adjust your schedule accordingly. My parents can now be out of the house for a nice spontaneous meal and evening out and just go on their phones and adjust the schedule however they'd like. Beforehand you would go out maybe for a few hours for a meal and your heating would be on because it's inside your normal schedule hours. When they leave the restaurant if it is cold outside they can go on the app whack it up to 23 degrees that when they walk in the front door it is unbelievably toasty and they get warm nice and quick. The app or the thermostat itself makes it 10 times easier to start a schedule and program it in. Gone are the days of sitting there on your sofa, tapping each button, manually entering in the schedule. You can now go on the app, get very precise with the time, 6 o'clock, 6.15, 6.30 and change the temperature really easy with a swipe of a finger. It's almost enjoyable on the app. Back in the day, if your manual thermostat batteries died, if it was over a couple of hours, your whole schedule would be removed from the thermostat. You'd have to sit again, program it all in, whereas on the app, it stays there forever. There are then features such as geofencing, which means a certain area around your property, when you leave it or enter it, it'll send you a notification asking if you want your heating to go on. This is great as if you are acting on a whim, your day changes and you head outside, you don't forget about your heating and don't come back to a very warm house which you've been paying all afternoon for. Another one has to be weather compensation. These now connect to a local weather station and know if it's gonna be cold or warm around your property. Of course, if it is colder outside, the heat loss inside your property speeds up. So it adjusts the time of your boiler coming on to make sure you have complete comfort around your home. It's very clever and very cozy. Now to even the playing field, manual thermostats are not bad by any means. If your Wi-Fi miraculously goes down or you just don't have Wi-Fi, a manual thermostat is the best way to go. I know on some smart thermostats or maybe older versions, if your Wi-Fi went down, your boiler would just be on constantly. There would be no control. So if you do live in an area of constant Wi-Fi disruptions, maybe a manual thermostat's the best way to go. I also accept not everyone wants app for things. People already have apps for their weather, their fitness, their food. Do you really need one for your heating? Keeping a manual thermostat keeps it all streamlined, keeps it on one device inside your home where you know where it is. If you have guests stay over, you can easily explain how to use it. And if it is on your phone, how are they going to do it if they're staying inside your home? And finally, if you are the type of person that has a very organized, streamlined schedule, you wake up the same time Monday to Friday, come home same time Monday to Friday, and your weekends are pretty much the same, there's no point having that flexibility of the app or remote controls anywhere in the world. Your manual thermostat will do just fine. Of course, costs come into the equation. Smart thermostats are going to be at least £70, £80 more than a manual thermostat. And if you are just getting a new boiler, you don't really want to be thinking about spending any more money than you have to. This is where iHeat can help. We now offer 0% finance on a range of boilers. So head to the website, fill in a quote and see what we can do for you. We can be there the very next day to install your brand new boiler and maybe one of these smart thermostats too. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them down below or recommendations for a thermostat. We've done plenty of reviews here on the channel, so I'll leave a few up here throughout the video. But other than that, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. This has been iHeat.